am, yeah, Suffolk Triumph on all these marvellous bikes. Um, but what am I on today? Yeah, look at this. Yeah, Triumph Scrambler. Can you believe it? Oh, let's get it on the road and see what it's all about. Um, oh, there we go. Listen to that. Oh, it actually sounds all right when you get behind it. Don't know whether you'll hear it or not into gear let's get going and we'll have a mutter about it see what all the fuss is about yeah so what have we got well we have got um 400 cc's or thereabouts yeah a little bit less i think um, we've got one sort of skew if clock it's not around uh, I like having a speedo you know that that's marvellous but we also have a digital ref counter as well and a gear indicator um, Mickey Mouse mirrors uh, bars nice and wide for extra stability because it is a scrambler um, and you can probably do a bit of green lane in with it don't know uh, the reviews I've seen so far from India and that suggest that um, uh, put you know proper off-roading it might be, uh, be falling short um, but we'll wait and see uh, today is very very cold I will say that in fact it is minus 4 last night so up to 50 no trouble at all there we go um, but we've got some nice hand guards to keep that cold wind off which is marvellous Mickey Mouse mirrors my favourite um, and it's big 835mm that seat height and I'm 6 foot 2 uh, 34 inch inside leg um, so having a big small bike if that makes sense um, can only be a good thing for me so there I just left it in fifth and picked it up again and it went yeah I like that um, what we got on the clock we've got it's done 80 miles that's all um, uh, fuel gauge Oh, I don't know what else it's got on the information give it a push trip one trip two uh, 600 so oh, is that 60 miles per gallon um, or oh, 62 mpg is doing 600 miles per gallon then um, but yeah or oh, traction control you can turn it's on road that's marvellous um, uh, yeah oh so you can turn the traction control off um, or you can have it on I don't know if you can do that on the speed 400 but yeah that's just marvellous uh, brake horsepower uh, just shy of 40 39.5 which isn't too shabby is it uh, twice that of a hunter yeah Royal Enfield hunter what are they about 20 brake off power something like that um, and 37.5 newton meters of torque yeah it's got this nice triumph don't know if they come on all of them little badge there uh, uh, little rubber thing there for the bar that goes across that you can fasten things on yeah I don't know what controls all seem nice and easy I have noticed occasionally I catch the high beam which isn't a bad thing is it get everyone to notice you coming down the road got slightly sort of semi off road tyres on uh, 19 inch front wheel 17 inch rear wheel handling seems just fine I'm not going to go crazy because like I say we've got ice about 
but we will now see what it's like on the dual carriageway yeah well that goes well enough doesn't it up to 70 miles an hour I won't do it for long because it's not running or anything yeah But it seems very comfortable at 70 and we're doing about six or seven thousand revs um, and we don't redline till about 12 yeah so that's marvelous isn't it um, i'll bring you back when we get to off off the dual carriageway because i don't want to keep it at this high speed Right, so uh, no problem at all on the dual carriageway. This is going to be a doddle, particularly for commuting. Would I want to tour, you know, all day long on motorways? No, but you don't buy a bike like this if you're going to sit all day on motorways, do you? Is it fast enough to keep up with the traffic and overtake and stuff at motorway speeds? Yeah, of course it is. Um, uh, the seat I feel just right it's firm fairly comfortable for me oh dear what's happened there broken down um, yeah it feels fairly planted um, suspensions oh, I reckon it'll soften up a little bit over time but it is quite firm at the moment which isn't a bad thing we'll get down here because we want to go on to the washboard road because that's where we'll find out about the suspension isn't it yeah so let's get down here oh it's dead icy new tyres new motorbike uh, brakes obviously uh, feel absolutely fine um, I've got quite big hands and in fact Mrs Tame was measuring my hands for some new gloves um, and unfortunately the sizes go up to like 11.5 or something like that and they're not quite big enough for me yeah but never mind um, and so the grips seem quite tight on my hand but I've got big gloves on um, but it's snug no problem at all so let's see what this is like on here and here we go and do you know what it's riding those bumps absolutely fine normally you can hear a vibrata in my voice it gets worse as we get along um, but yeah not too bad is it <laughs> I like that that clock reminds me of uh, the Tiger 660 or my Tiger 1050 except it's the other way around I'm sure my Tiger 1050 it, the point of it was you know the information screen was on the left I might be wrong though so washboard road no problem at all indicator dead easy to find oh look at that isn't that typical what can I say so don't know if you can hear that Uh, someone said it sounds like a 125 I, I don't think it sounds like a 125 I get what they mean it doesn't sound powerful 
it doesn't sound poppy like the classic 350 for example um, which actually sounds more powerful than it is but there you go um, I'll bring you back when the train's gone oh here we go I wonder how long this baby is oh, I might include this just for uh, Stephen Woodman Dix he likes trains and my mate Charlie well Charlie wouldn't pull anything so common as these I shouldn't imagine oh not too many quite a short one excellent right oh don't tell me there's another So first to second, obviously quite short because it's a little bike. You get that visor down a bit. But you know, for these back back roads, this is just ideal, isn't it? <laughs> I quite like the sound of that exhaust. I do. This road looks fairly dry, so no ice on here, hopefully. So I'll get down here and do the walk around Suffolk Road. Short people, tall people, bicycles, cars, and here's a car. Is he gonna? He's gonna pull over first. Excellent. Gravel, mud, potholes, horses, fridges, hot balloons. We've had all sorts, haven't we? Yeah. It's a bumpy old road. Oh, and there's people, just tall people. Uh, mud and puddles and potholes and another car. Excellent. Moved out of the way. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, just here, I'll stop and do a walk round. Look at that, marvellous, just there, into neutral, visor up, side stand down without looking, excellent, ignition off, and let's have a look at this, big little baby, there you go. What do you reckon? Let's get the other camera out and have a look. Right, here we are, yeah. Triumph Scrambler 400X. 400X. I mean, what can you say? I think it looks lovely. I'm really enjoying riding it. Um, but let's have a closer look at it. So, what we've got around the front, we've got these upside down forks. Um, seem to do a grand job on the washboard road and on this bumpy old Suffolk road. Single disc on the front, Bybury, 19 inch front wheel, mudguard, um, it's fairly long, could probably do with uh, an extender, you can see it's getting a bit dirty up there on the radiator, yeah there's a radiator. Um, you get the, uh, on the scrambler, you get the headlamp guard yeah keep all those stones and stuff off it um sort of semi road uh tires on it um that triumph badge of course um just lovely uh the exhaust well it's an exhaust um yeah it doesn't sound meaty but it sounds nice yeah, it's only a 400 liquid cooled engine. Back wheel, uh, 17 inch, uh, mono shock, uh, adjusted under there. Yeah, which you can see maybe from this side. Yeah, it's on 
it's on its hardest. No, it's on its softest at the moment. So I reckon that'll soften up a bit. Um, seat on the Scrambler, two part seat. Um, firm, comfortable, don't feel cheap or anything. Triumph quality. I know people will argue about that, but <sighs> what can you do about them? Um, knuckle guards, hand guards, keep the wind off as well in winter. Um, and the branches off if you get down some green lanes. Uh, not sure how much fuel it holds, but I reckon it's got a good um, range on it because they reckon it'll do about 80 to the gallon. Um, in real life, that's probably 65, 70, isn't it? Um, but I, I can't swear to that. Um, no centre stand. Uh, nice big long side stand, dead easy to find when you do stop. Uh, Mickey Mouse mirrors as I say, and this big clock, easy to read, speedometer around there, um, just lovely. Uh, this bar across here, um, I quite like it. Yeah, hand grip for uh, the uh, passenger. Um, it feels light and nimble and easy to ride. Oh, I, I really like it. I didn't think I'd like it quite as much as I do, to be honest. Um, but let's get the senses done and um, we'll pick it up from there. Right, here we are, back on board. Ignition on. <laughs> Ding. Uh, and we're off. Yeah, let's see uh, what we make of it with the senses tests so um, ah, hang on I'll get my visor shut because phew, it is cold oh knocked a high beam on I did that earlier as well I mean that bump there is terrible on the road and it did that really well um, the seat is easy to move about on there's plenty of room for you to, to move on it uh, obviously we're in a 30 year um, so uh, taste well this has got to be a blackjack if ever there was a blackjack this one is a blackjack I love blackjacks oh, I really do I don't care that they make your tongue go black or your teeth go black I love them I uh, prefer them over fruit salads for sure um, so yeah that's what I think something small three foot what was it three for a penny or something um, just wonderful um, and then we've got smell well I can tell you this bike smells absolutely divine I don't know if it's because it's a cold day but it really does smell nice yeah um, it looks like there might be bits of ice down here, so we'll have to be a little bit careful. Uh, handling is just lovely. Uh, to look at, what does it look like? It looks like a Triumph Scrambler. Of course it does. But it wouldn't look like anything else, would it? Um, I like the look of it. I prefer it over the speed, I think, to look at. Um, obviously, they're going to go pretty similar. But this was the one I wanted to ride. This is the one that I thought might do as a winter bike. Um, having ridden it now, I'm fairly certain it would make a winter bike. Yeah. Um, but that's what it looks like. A Triumph Scrambler. Does it look like an out-and-out -out Scrambler? No, but with a few tweaks it would, wouldn't it? get that mud guard lifted up a bit yeah um, 
uh, to touch and feel well you know um, there's always this controversy well it's made in India well who cares India produce most of the world's bikes I've got to you know let, let's not beat about the bush they do um, and they're pretty damn good at it if you ask me um, with Triumph design and technology as well inputted into it they've produced a marvellous bike I really they have um, and for £5,595 it's for nothing isn't it um, and the quality is there someone questioned the quality um, and I mentioned that in the walk on video I did ages ago yeah um, and I you know it, it is it feels top notch Triumph wouldn't have put the name to it they wouldn't run the risk could you imagine um, what would happen yeah it's not going to be worth it so yeah no the quality is there the backup will be there um, so yeah I think you could buy with confidence that's what I think anyway um, and then the sound well the sound is all right I don't mind it yeah it is it's a small capacity bike and it sounds like a small capacity bike eventually someone will do a backpipe for it won't they and that will increase it um, but I, I quite like the sound it's sort of a a nice poppy sound yeah gearbox seems absolutely fine clutch light as a feather everything is as exactly as you would imagine it to be just lovely yeah um, and so the sick that sixth sense well this lorry is just pulled out in front of us so what I'll do um, I'll save the sixth sense for when I get back off the dual carriageway yeah tell you what the balance is dead easy with these big wide bars and it being so light it's absolutely a doddle at slow speeds I reckon if I had one of these I would definitely go off-road on it definitely give that a go because it is light enough for me to pick up So, um, quick blast down the A12 there, um, absolutely marvellous and I could, I, I, I get the feeling the power do not really start to come on it until sort of six, uh, uh, six and a half, seven thousand and it really starts to go in six, um, it really does, um, yeah, I mean what more can I say um, and it does feel uh, a bit like a scrambler it starts to get a bit light at the front <laughs> I know um, but there you go how does it make me feel I like it um, it makes me feel happy and confident yeah and we've had a discussions about confidence in the back in the past haven't we it's important to have confidence um, I reckon the youths are really going to go for this in a big way yeah um, and it makes me feel youthful um, I like it I, uh, I can't say no more than that what I will be interested in is how it compares to the Himalayan now there's the thing isn't it now I know it's a very different bike I mean this is a roadster a scrambler slash roadster isn't it uh, the Himalayan is more off-roady I would say 
Um, but having never ridden one, I don't know on the performance because uh, this has a fair lick of speed. It does. You'll have to take my word for it. Um, and this is big. Um, I like that. Um, and I guess a quick rundown again on it. Uh, that single clock with uh, information display showing your revs, your gear, um, the mileage. Um, your fuel, time. I think it sounds all right. I really do. Um, sorry, getting distracted there. Uh, what else we got? Mickey Mouse mirrors. We've got um, hand guards. You get the sump guard. You get the dual seat with it. You know, when I say dual, two part seat as opposed to a single see that comes with the speed um, I'm not the fueling is not a hundred percent it's not as smooth as some but it I find that on a lot of triumphs really uh, the T120 uh, for example it's not quite as bad as the T120 but um, yeah, the ke the throttle is a bit, little bit lurchy now and then. And if you've ridden a T120, you'll know what I mean. It's a little bit like that, not quite uh, the same. But that's the only thing I can f find with it, and I could live with that. I reckon. Learn to ride around it. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I've got to take it back now. I'd like to have one for a while and go and play with it and really find out about it and do a bit off-road. Yeah, that'd be marvellous, wouldn't it? But here we are, back at Suffolk Triumph. What more can I say? Oh, meteor there. Um, we're getting this gap here. Oh, it's dead easy to balance. That's all oh, wonderful. Right, let's into neutral, side stand down, over we go. And can we have a listen? Oh, it doesn't sound bad, does it? You know, for what it is, let's have a little look at it. There you go. Triumph Scrambler 400X in black. X in black. It's just marvellous. Mm -hmm. 